Welcome to Impact Online, where martial arts wisdom meets real-life application. Sponsored by Impact Martial Arts Academy in Virginia Beach, this podcast reveals how the principles you practice in the academy can shape a resilient and successful life. Today, we're exploring the Accountability Blueprint, Eight Steps to Martial Arts Mastery. This structured and effective approach to setting, pursuing, and achieving your goals will help you maintain accountability. By creating a dynamic system that adapts to your growth, your objectives stay clear and keep your motivation high. Let's get started. Number one, set clear, measurable goals. First things first, identify what you want to achieve. It's crucial to set goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. The SMART method. For example, instead of saying, I want to improve my martial arts skills, specify, I want to earn my next belt in four months by training three times a week and attending one tournament. Let's break this down further. A specific goal addresses the who, what, where, when, and why. Measurable means you can track your progress. Attainable ensures that the goal is realistic. Relevant means it aligns with your broader objectives. And time-bound sets a deadline. Ask yourself, are my goals specific enough to be clear? Can I measure my progress? Are they realistic given my current abilities? Do they align with my overall mission? Can I set a time frame? Here's an example. Imagine you're a white belt aiming to become a black belt. Your goal could be to master a specific set of moves within six months. This gives you a clear target and a deadline, making it easier to track your progress and stay motivated. Number two, write them down. Once you've defined your goals, write them down. Use a journal, a digital document, or any medium that works for you. Writing down your goals commits them to memory and serves as a constant physical reminder of your commitment. This practice solidifies your intentions and provides a reference point you can revisit. Think of this as creating your personal contract. How often have you found that things written down are taken more seriously? Your goals are no different. Documenting them also allows you to revisit and refine them as needed. Here's an example. Keep a dedicated goals journal where you not only write down your goals, but also note your progress, challenges faced, and lessons learned. This becomes a valuable resource for reflection and adjustment. Number three, create a mind map. Take your written goals and develop a mind map. Place your main goals at the center and branch out to intermediate milestones and smaller tasks. This visual layout helps you see the path to your goals clearly, breaking down what might seem like an overwhelming journey into manageable steps. Here's the exercise. Create a mind map right now. Put your primary goal in the center and draw branches for intermediate milestones. For example, if your goal is to compete in a martial arts tournament, your branches might include steps like improving specific techniques, increasing fitness levels, and mental preparation. Visualize your journey from start to finish. What intermediate milestones can you achieve along the way? And what smaller tasks will get you there? Number four, create a routine around the mind map. Establish a daily or weekly routine to review and update your mind map. Dedicate time for working on tasks and reflecting on progress. This routine keeps you engaged and focused on continuous progress reinforcing the habits that lead to success. Consider setting specific times for these reviews. For example, Sunday evenings could be your time to update your map and plan the week ahead. How can you build this into your existing schedule? Well, here's an example. Set a reminder on your phone or calendar to review your mind map every Sunday evening. During this time, reflect on the past week's progress, adjust tasks as needed, and plan your focus for the upcoming week. Number five, use the mind map as an achievement board. Use your mind map not just as a plan, but also as an achievement board. 
Mark your progress directly on the map by checking off completed tasks and milestones. Use different colors or symbols to visually represent various stages of completion. This turns your mind map into a living document that tracks your journey in real time. Here's the exercise. Choose symbols or colors to represent your progress. For example, green for completed tasks, yellow for tasks in progress, and red for tasks that need more attention. Update your mind map regularly to keep it current. How will you mark your progress? Perhaps the green check marks for completed tasks and red circles for pending ones? Number six, celebrate. Every time you achieve a milestone, celebrate. Reward yourself with a small celebration or acknowledgement. This positive reinforcement boosts your motivation and satisfaction, making the journey to your goals more enjoyable and rewarding. Consider what types of rewards will keep you motivated. A favorite snack, a day off, or even a small purchase could be an excellent incentive. For example, after reaching a significant milestone, treat yourself to something special, like a new piece of training gear or a day off to relax and recharge. Celebrating your achievements keeps your spirits high and your motivation strong. Number seven, adjust goals as you evolve. As you progress, your abilities will grow and new opportunities might emerge. Reflect these changes by adjusting your goals and tasks on the mind map. This ensures your goals remain relevant and challenging, pushing you to new heights. Regularly revisit your goals. Are they still aligned with your evolving skills and interests? Do you need to set new milestones? For example, if you find that you've mastered a particular technique ahead of schedule, adjust your mind map to set a new challenge. This could involve learning an advanced variation of the technique or maybe teaching it to others. Number eight, self-reflection. Take time to reflect on what you've accomplished and the challenges you faced. Consider what's working and what isn't. This reflection will help you learn and improve your strategies moving forward. Set aside quiet moments for self-reflection. What have you learned? What adjustments can you make to your strategy? Here's an exercise. At the end of each month, spend 30 minutes reflecting on your journey. Write down your successes, challenges, and any adjustments you need to make. This regular reflection will help you stay on track and continuously improve. By following these eight steps, you not only set goals, but also create a dynamic system that adapts to your growth and enhances your accountability. This approach keeps your objectives clear and your motivation high, leading to more consistent and meaningful progress. Remember, martial arts isn't just about physical prowess. It's about mastering the mind and spirit too. These goal-setting techniques are tools to help you succeed both on and off the mat. Until next time, train with purpose, live with discipline, and strive to achieve your best.